Hi everyone, this is Virendra. Today I am going to talk about the second problem on buying and selling stocks. So I have already discussed the first problem which is the easier version of this. This problem is also easy but it's, it's a different flavor. We will be doing multiple transactions of buying and selling but non-overlapping transactions. Okay. So given an array of stocks like this, every index denotes the stock price of the commodity on that particular day. Okay, so day one has the stock price of 100, day two has stock price of 80 and so on. We use the same set of stock prices in the previous question where we calculated the profit only through a single transaction. Okay, here we are allowed multiple transactions but non-overlapping transactions to compute the maximum profit over the period of time. Okay, there is a simple algorithm to compute this. The approach would be find all the increasing pairs okay so you go from day one to day n and find all the increasing pairs and compute the profit that you can earn for that pair okay so let's just walk through walk through the algorithm quickly we'll call this array as p and we'll calculate the profit here so let's start with index 0 we'll denote that index at, as i if we look at the next index which is the next day's stock price we see that next day stock, stock price is less than the current day's stock price right 80 is less than 100 so there's no point in buying at 100 and selling at 80 so we move forward right here the stock price is 80 and the next day's stock price is 120 right so next day's stock price is greater than the current day's stock price so we will definitely earn a profit so that profit would be 40 and we add it to the profit that we are computing right let's move forward the next next day we have the stock price of 120 if we buy at this point and sell at, sell at 130 we'll definitely get a profit right so we'll add that profit to the to the previous profit we had so 40 plus 10 which is 130 minus 20 we get total profit of 50 so the two pairs that we used is 80 120 and 120 130 right let's move ahead here the current day stock price now is 130 and next day is 70 we, we, we are not getting profit here so we won't buy at this point so let's move ahead here again we have the same case where next day's price is lower than the current day's price so we don't buy the stock at this point notice that we are not buying at 70 and selling at 100 because we are following an algorithm where we are finding increasing pairs there are two reasons for that first we are not allowed to do overlapping transactions ideally what we would have done is we would have bought stocks at 70 and sold at 100 and also at 60 and sold at 100 that way we would have had more profit but we can't do that because we have a restriction of overlapping transactions and definitely we will get higher profit if we buy at 60 and then sell at 100 right so whatever buying price we find after 70 which is lower than 70 we are gonna get higher profit with that right so increasing pairs does make sense and it will give you the maximum profit so let's go ahead to 60 here we definitely are making profit right so we add that profit to the previous profit we had so total profit we have is 90 so same is the case for the final pair so the total profit that we'll get is 150 okay so let's quickly go through the code code is pretty simple what you do is get the stock prices array and iterate it one by one compute the profit that you would get by selling on the next day and buying on the current day if the profit is greater than zero you add it to the to total profit that's it that is the solution Thank you for watching the video. Please stay tuned. I'll be uploading two more videos uh, based on buying and selling stocks. They are supposed to be harder than this, but I don't think that they are. I'm just creating a series of these four questions so that you can go through them in one go. Okay. Thank you. Subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned.